You can never have too much lip gloss. What's up, guys? It's Jaya, your favorite YouTuber ever. And today I'm back at it again with another video. So I was thinking about what I wanted to do with this channel and like where exactly do I want to go with this channel. Do I want to do like challenges and pranks and story times? But then I realized that that's really not my thing. That's really not what I'm going for. And I really want to talk to you guys and share with you guys stuff that I'm really, really passionate about. And something that I'm very, very passionate about is entrepreneurship. I love entrepreneurship. And I definitely want to make comment not commentary but definitely just want to talk about things that will help my people black people i understand that um entrepreneurship is really great for everybody but i'm seeing a lot of um i really want to how do i say it i really want to touch on the issue that we're having in the black community of never having enough money not having financial freedom not being able to do what we want to do being in a constant cycle of government assistance loans bad credit and stuff like that because i want to help black people because it seems like nobody else wants to help black people so today in this video i am going to be talking about 14 black owned businesses that you can start all on your own so without further ado let's get into the video oh and if you see me um looking down it's because um it's 14 of these and if you thought i was gonna remember all of them um you thought <laughs> so yes let's get into the video okay so the first black owned business that you can start is a credit repair company basically what the credit repair company does is they remove all the negative items off your credit such as like collections and things of that nature and they help they remove the negative things off your credit and they also help your credit score i was a little bit iffy about putting this on the list because credit repair is something that you could definitely do yourself but sometimes people get a little bit intimidated and if you or somebody that's really not knowledgeable in the three credit bureaus and you're really into credit like i'm really into credit and if you're really um you're really knowledgeable about stuff like that and you know how to keep it if you have a good credit score yourself and you know how to keep a consistent credit score you can definitely start your own credit repair business so you can um so you can help other people because for whatever reason it's just like this stereotype in the black community that black people have bad credit and i just don't understand why <laughs> like i don't understand but it's so that's definitely something that you could look into Number two is that you could be an art, an artist. I didn't know if I was gonna put this one on the list either because it's really broad. But if you like to draw, if you like to paint, if you like to do anything artistic, I say if you're good at something, never do it for free. But yeah, let's move into some more, some more specific things. So the next one, number three, is a moving truck company now i know what you're thinking moving trucks are really really expensive but you'll be saving up money for a car which is a liability by the way when you could be saving up money for a moving truck which is going to make you money moving trucks are expensive yes i did my research and they are like i saw some for sixty-five thousand. i saw some for fifty thousand, but i also saw one for twenty thousand. so that loan that you're taking out to purchase a new car you could use that loan to purchase a moving truck vehicle and i did my research and you don't have to have any type of special license because moving trucks aren't considered commercial um commercial vehicles so you can drive it with your regular government issued license and basically what you can do is you could charge 25 to 65 dollars an hour for it to move and you normally movers take about five hours so and on and then if you wanted to do something such as like moving across the country you could check like let's say this person lives in georgia and they want to move to texas you can run an advertisement saying that oh like I will move your entire house from Georgia to Texas for $900, $900 to $1,500 flat, a flat rate. So that's a really good, that's more, that could be your side hustle or that could be a business that you can, that, that could be your main source of income as well. It all depends on how much, how much um, time you want to put into it or if you want to leave your, um, you want to leave your traditional job. So 
the second one not second one i lied the fourth one is my personal favorite i'm actually a bit biased but it's okay um is the cannabis industry you can definitely get into my people my black people the can the cannabis industry has so much money in it it's literally ridiculous it's, I read an article on NBC that said in 2018, $10 billion was worth of investments were invested into the cannabis industry. And it's so broad what you can get into. You can start your own dispensary. You can grow your own weed if it's legal in the state that you're in. Now, that's the another thing that I wanted to touch on. It's only legal in seven of the 50 states but if you get into a state where it is legal there's lots of money to be made in this in this industry because it's so much money in there and cannabis is just it's just now something that was like just a couple years ago that we started to really get into like the states are it's only seven legal states now so it's not a lot of um research on it it's something that has a lot of money into it you can weed the people will pay a lot of money for weed studies. There's a lot of things about marijuana that people just don't know about. Like for example, people don't know, like this may be a little bit uncontroversial, but there's really not a lot of studies on the effects of THC on a baby in the uterus. So I mean, I don't know if you want to put your own baby at risk, but um, <laughs> that's definitely something that you could look into. And then you can um also create your own edibles. There's just so many different things that you can get into i know so many people that are just like the plug in their area and you have the entrepreneur spirit because you're the plug but you're in fucking um virginia where it's le where it's illegal and you're gonna get thrown in jail over a, a, a dime bag and you have like so much potential to make so much money but you don't see like but you just not you're not going for it like if i were if you are like the one in your area where everybody goes to to get their weed. I personally would have a little bit of crazy faith and move to an area where it's legal and get your weed, get your um product into a dispensary and start making some real money. Or if you make edibles, get your edibles into a dispensary and start making some real money or don't even get it into a dispensary. Sell it yourself out your house where it's legal so you can make real money. And, st and st don't put yourself at risk for going to jail because the amount of black people that are in jail right now for weed related um charges is like ridiculous so yeah moving on to number five so number five is a farmer's market a farmer's so i have farmer i know what you're thinking like a farmer's market like what but for me what i want to start seeing is i want to start like black people we have our own business but it's kind of like the same thing like and i know i'm the last one to talk because i'm starting my own um lash business but it's just like lashes hair makeup but if I, we want to start making our own community we have to like branch into stuff that's not makeup related such as farmers markets grocery stores um pharmacies and hold on one second y'all i dropped my paper <laughs> pharmacies and things of that nature is so <sighs> so a farmer's market i feel like where you where you can start is basically just with a garden and in a farmer's market the way you can advertise it is like everything in the farmer's market is grown in the garden behind the market and you can sell your own stuff there so like you can buy chickens and sell your own eggs. You can grow um, plants such as basil and paisley and make your own spices. You can sell your own bread because that's just wheat, your own milk if you buy a cow. And it doesn't have to have like your own fruits and vegetables. It doesn't have to have it's like fancy label and fancy packaging and stuff like that because the advertisement is that it's literally you made it like right here so it's okay you can have your own alcohol you can grow wine because you have grapes because you have fruits so you can make wine out of grapes and the thing is with your business you have to think like bigger you have to scale so even though you have a farmer's market it could be a farmer's market by day turn restaurant by night and then the, the oh like i'm sorry i don't want to stutter but like 
the food from the restaurant is grown in the garden out there so you take the food from the farmer's market and you cook it and then you have a restaurant and then you could take the dairy from the cow and then turn it into a, a ice cream store or a yogurt shop or something like that and you just have to keep scaling and scaling your business and it's all about your mindset too because you could think of this like grocery store as or this farmer's market as just a garden that you sell stuff out of but you can't you have to change your mindset because you have to look at your grocery store and be like trader joe's baby i'm coming for you i'm trying to run you out of business whole foods i'm running you out of business because even though this is something small right now it may take two generations for that to happen but that's okay because as long as we're working towards something then we're working towards something so you have to learn and then on the age of like the difference between like now and 50 years ago is now we have YouTube. So you may think to yourself, hmm, I don't know how to um grow uh tomatoes, but you can go on YouTube and type in how to grow tomatoes. YouTube is like, I don't even understand. If you want to be an entrepreneur and you want to start your own business, why are you in college? Because YouTube will teach you how to do almost anything. Like, I can't think of anything that you want to know how to do that YouTube won't teach you how to do it. So, yeah, on to, on to number six. <laughs> So number six is you can start your own graphic design company. People need more graphic designers because gra you, people need more graphic designers because people need logos and people need and people need websites and people need um, photo editing and video editing. And so I know you're thinking that you can go on like Canva and Vistaprint to make your own logos and business cards, stuff like that. But as when people get like more busy, they start delegating and outsourcing their responsibilities to other people. So like, um, and I know a lot of times the technical part of things takes the creativity out of it. So like, for example, like if you are a singer, but you're also a producer, like the engineer part of the producer, I've heard from some people that do music that that actually takes the fun part out of the singing. If you're also the engineer, because while you're singing, you're thinking about the, the engineering part of it and stuff like that. And so oh, I lost my train of thought, but oh the youtubers i mean the video editing so oop, almost fail so youtubers are starting to get more busy like with their brand deals and bigger youtubers to the point where they don't have like time to edit their videos and any video editing takes a long time so a lot of your favorite youtubers have video editors people that edit the videos for them so they don't have to do it themselves because that takes up a lot of time and there's definitely a lot of money in that because you know these youtubers get they begin that that youtube check so that's definitely youtube check so that's definitely something that you can look into and it's definitely a scalable business and it's a work from home business like literally you kick your feet up you're in your bed literally just on your computer so that's definitely something that you could look into and it's a lot of growing potential and a lot of money potential in that business number seven yeah no i'm just kidding <laughs> so number seven is you can start your own business planning business so if you are a successful entrepreneur you are somebody who's very seasoned in your craft you can start your own business planning for startup entrepreneurs to help them reach their business goals and help them scale their business so it's not just like oh i'm just start because five i think it was like like 90 percent of all business startups small businesses that fail within the first five years and i feel like that's because we don't have a we don't have a plan we just start our business and we're just like okay here's the business but we don't have target we don't have a target audience we don't have sales plans we don't have nothing that we need to start a successful business so and a lot of the reason is because like for me, like not for me, but a lot of people is like we have the creative the creativity to start the business, but we don't have like the back analytics of it. So if you're somebody who's really seasoned in that because you've done that type of stuff before, then you can start your own business planning business and helping creating business business plans for startup entrepreneurs so they can have successful businesses that go longer than the five years. Number 
eight. Are we on number eight already? Wow, I'm moving really fast. Okay, so number eight is a business that I really, really like. I think this is a really great idea. So you can start your own party planning slap, 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 what? Slash trip planning business and if you're the person that always likes to plan stuff if you're the person in your group that's like let me plan da 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 and da, da, i feel like this is definitely for you um you can advertise that you're the one who could get you like the best prices and stuff like that and then you can create themes and different themes and ideas for a party like you could have oh like a paw patrol party package and you have everything that you need you get the cake you get the balloons you get the 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 what's the thing that go on the table the thing that goes on the table the table cover chair covers and all that stuff and it's just one set price the part the paw patrol party package is five hundred dollars and that includes everything that you need to get and your service fee i'm not saying it's five hundred dollars but like you know i might um but that could just be like that was just an example and then like as far as trip planning goes and you can create packages and themes for parties and for trips you can find good vendors you can find good venues you can find good hotels and good excursions for example for the trip you can create the ultimate italy vacation you can find the best airfare the best hotels the best excursions the best restaurants and it's all included in one package and the package would be, oh, best Italy vacation, two grand. That includes everything, all the booking for the um, the plane, the hotel, and all that stuff, and your service fee, $2,000. And so it saves people time for the people that like, because planning a trip and planning a party can really be stressful if that's not your thing. And people, I would hit, and like people go to like, go out of town or go to like Miami and Italy, they want to go on vacation, but half of the time, I'm sorry, I dropped my paper again. Yeah, they go on, they go trips to Italy and Miami and they go to Florida and they, but like half of the time they're there is like figuring out what to do when they get there. So they wasted a lot of time. So with you, that really cuts that out because you've already figured out everything for them to do. You have the whole itinerary laid out for them. All they have to do is go do it. So, and it's for the party, for parties, it's like, there's, everybody's having a party because it's so many different things going on like retirement parties baby shower kids birthday parties adults birthday parties anything it's endless so there's definitely a lot a lot of growing potential in that business and it's something like if that's really your thing because that's really a lot of people's thing like if you then there's definitely a business in there for you nine is a personal trainer there so if you're really really big on health and fitness you could be a personal trainer if you're the one that's always in the gym and you know all the push-ups all the pull-ups all the treadmills all the weightlifting, then take your knowledge and help other people get fit and you could charge them $25, $50 per hour for a personal training session. And then that could be a side hustle, extra money in your pocket. And while they're working out, you can be working out too because it's something that you're really good at. And then a personal training doesn't just have to stop at the gym. You could have their phone number and you could text them motivational things when you wake up in the morning, when they like in the morning. So when they wake up, they're motivated to go to the gym. You can send them dinner recipes that are, um, dinner recipes that are a little bit healthier so because personal training and fitness is like not just about working out i think that i read somewhere that exercise and getting fit is like 70 percent your diet and like 30 percent exercise so it's not even 50 50 so your diet is a really big part of like your diet is a really big part of their um, fitness journey and a lot of times the reason why these fitness journeys fail is because you need somebody you need like the buddy system to hold you accountable when you're doing different when you're doing something like this because it's so easy for you to talk yourself talk yourself out of stuff like that so there if you if that but that's something really like specific so if you're into like personal training like that's not a business that i could do because me and exercising i'm allergic to exercising y'all i tried it didn't work every time i go to the gym i literally feel like i'm gonna throw up or pass out probably both so but if exercising is your thing because i know that people are out there 
definitely go into it. If you're good at something, don't, don't do it for free. Just don't. Okay. <laughs> so, number 10 is ebooks. You can you can create your own ebook. Are you good at something? Anything. If you're good at math, if you're good at cooking, if you're good at makeup, if you're good at taking pictures, there are so many platforms you can create your own ebook. You brain dump that information and you sell it for $15. You sell that information for $15 and people will really buy it if you're good at something like right now we have Instagram and Instagram is a great platform for you to show off what you're good at. So if you good at if you take some bomb pictures and people are always asking, oh, what do you use to take your pictures? Oh, how do you make that? How'd you get that good angle? Like you can brain dump that information to an ebook and sell it. And ebooks are not even that expensive. So it's a side hustle. Or it could be your main hustle, depending on how big you want to scale it. And so, yes, there are videos on YouTube of how to do certain stuff. But what I always say is you can give somebody something like I can give you my service. I can give you the same products. But what I can't give you is my knowledge. I can't give you my experience. I can't give you my passion, my drive, my faith. I can't give you none of that. So don't be worried about competition because all competition means is that you're worried about what the next person is doing. So if you feel like if there's something that you're good at, brain dump it into a book and then sell it because people will buy it if you're good enough. <laughs> so number, what number are we on? I don't even know. Like I think it's 14 of these, but I didn't wrote it wrong on my paper. So I don't know. But the next business is registered agent service. So when people sign up for a business and they apply for their LLC, they ask you for who is your registered agent. Your agent could be yourself, your agent could be a friend, or you could have a registered agent service. Basically, when you apply for your LLC, you need to um, write down an address for the all your legal documents to be sent to. But this address, because it's a part of your LLC, is public information. So for me, when I start my business and I register as an LLC, the address that I put down, it would be my address. But that means my personal address is going to be public information. And a lot of people don't want that. So what register agents do is you write down, they give you an address to write down. All your legal documents are sent to that address. So you don't have to have your personal address. Um, you don't have to have your personal address as public information for safety reasons and things of that nature. You can put, you can charge your customers or your clients a monthly fee of $50, a yearly fee, $200 whatever you want to do because the beauty of entrepreneurship is that you can set your prices at whatever you want it to. you can set your prices at whatever you want them to be so that's something that's like a small business that you can start but it definitely is profit because every business that you start does not have to be i mean yeah i know i said trader joe's i'm coming for your neck but if you really are into your job these businesses could just be like pocket money extra money in your pocket so you don't have to be stressed out at the end of the month making so like when you pay all your bills at the end of the month it's not like dang i only have 25 dollars like extra money left over at the end of the month so <laughs> number 13 oh wait number 13 yeah so number 13 you can start your own driving school so you can look like the low what advertise at the local high school and then if you have a car like keep it nice like if you were to drive uber and you could charge 16 year olds at the high school $50 or $50 per hour or $100 for two hours for driving lessons because high school age is when kids start to get their permit, start to get their license and getting taught by your parent can especially be frustrating, especially if they're the type of parents that yell and they get nervous and sometimes it's better just for a third party to be there just to kind of keep a neutral head, be professional and stuff like that. And there's, you could definitely make a lot of money. There's a lot of growing potential in this business. A two-hour class, um, like I said, would be $100. And then a Saturday, it, I call it a Saturday side hustle because it's something that you could do on Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah, 
Did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> and then it's a possible extra of $500 a weekend. $500 a weekend. There's four weekends. $2,000 a month in your pocket from teaching kid, for teaching kids how to drive. What? Next one. And so last but not least. Okay, last but not least, we have number 14, which is a paint and wine class. If you are somebody who loves to paint, this is definitely a business venture that you should definitely look into because it's a lot of money in here. Like, I did the math, and it's a good, you can make a good penny off of this. Like, so if you love to paint, you can hold your own drinking, drink what you can hold your own paints and wine class you could also have a kids class during the day and then have an adult class at night so your kids class could be from like 12 to 3 and then your kids class could be from like 7 or 8 to like 9 or 10 and for the kids class um you can like you can like provide them like a capri sun and a bag of chips and like okay everybody sit down and everybody like has their little like paint or crayons whatever you want to do for like the kids and you show them how to draw a flower and it's um and it's just for a couple hours it's just for three dollars so uh, it's just for three hours not three dollars i'm sorry and then so it's only oh and so this is something that can only be on saturdays and sundays so you can keep your regular job but the thing about this is if painting is your passion this is really how to make your passion like your paycheck you know what i'm saying and so kids in the oh so i said kids in the morning so basically let me so basically let me tell you the breakdown of how you can make some money okay so you have kids right you get 10 kids you charge $25 per kid. That's for 10 kids. That's $250, right? Then you have the adults. At nighttime, you charge $40 per adult or $65 per couple. You get five adults at night. Five times four, five times forty is two hundred dollars. You get five couples in that same class. Sixty-five times five is what I say it was three hundred and twenty-five. You do that for two days out the week, Saturday and Sunday. You do two classes Saturday morning and Sunday morning, and then Saturday night and Sunday night, and then you make a hundred and you make one thousand five hundred and twenty-five dollars a week. That's six thousand one hundred dollars a month for teaching people how to paint something that you already love it's something that you already love to do so if you love to paint there is money in that for you one second <coughs> so if you love to paint there's definitely money in that business for you okay 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 i did it <laughs> and so guys that was all 14 of them this video was 30 minutes long 30 minutes long but it's okay because it's a lot of good ideas in here i definitely recommend you guys take this video seriously i want to see more black owned businesses i want to see more black owned side hustles i want to see more just i really want to help people just like get out of the mindset of mindset of being broke and actually being broke and i want to really help my people so if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment your ideas tell me what kind of video tell me give me more entrepreneurship video ideas tell me if there's any businesses that i mentioned in this video that you guys are going to start tell me what you liked you can even tell me what you didn't like tell me what you didn't like and then and i'll see you guys in the next video and in the meantime stay strong